fine. Who is taking care of you? And it's funny right. thing is like, so like when I pull labs, so if they, if this person went to lab core by any other doctor before me, it'll be, it'll give me like the last test and this mm -hmm. test. Like I don't necessarily have to pull it. If it's in their system, they give me the last one. And I'll like, I'll see like calcium levels through the roof. And I'm like, did you get your parathyroid levels checked? They're like, no. And I'm like, can you give me your last three blood labs? And I'm like, sure. Cause I only get the one last. And like yeah. calcium is high in all of them. And I'm like, you have a parathyroid hormone issue. Like that's why, that's what's going on. Or right. I see low H and H for months or low D for months. And they've been talking to these people about fatigue and they're like, well, maybe we should give you Lunesta so you can sleep at night. And I'm like, are you having problems falling asleep? They're like, no. And I'm like, so because you were tired, the guy has no idea that you have no oxygen function and that you've got like, you know, everything else is pitted against you in this. And you're so at the mercy of whatever pill they get the biggest kickback from because that's what they're going to lead with. And, you know, I'm, I'm talking to these, uh, you know, athletes post-competition and stuff like that. A lot of times what happens is I'll get like a, a physique athlete that comes to me after they worked with somebody that was a little reckless yeah. uh, just because of the reputation I've built. And and they'll tell me that they have, you know, early onset PCOS or they were diagnosed with this or somebody just randomly said, oh, it's your hormones. And I'm, I'm just thinking, I'm like, I zoom out a lot. Sometimes I don't even start with the science in my own head.